Number eight, why is an object's mass rather than its weight used to indicate the amount of matter it contains? Good question. So let's break it down. Mass versus weight. One of these is the better way of indicating the amount of matter an object has, and the other one, mm, not so great. Turns out that mass is the better way of indicating the amount of matter something contains. Weight, however, is not a good way, mainly because the main difference between mass and weight is weight has to do with the effect on gravity. So, a object, specifically an inanimate object, that has a standard mass would have a different weight depending on what planet it was on. So basically, if a object was on Earth, let's just say that it weighed 80 pounds. However, if we put that same object on the moon, well, the weight, specifically the word weight, would be much less. Let's just say it's, I don't know, 30 pounds. But the weight on Earth and the weight on the moon would be completely different. However, if we took the mass on Earth and the mass on the moon, they would be the same exact amount. Let's just say here that it's 50, you know, pounds. 50 pounds. That's why we take an object's mass and not its weight. Because a mass does not include the amount of force that gravity is pulling down on the object. So it gives us a better way to indicate the amount of matter it contains. Hopefully that uh, helped you guys out. If it did, please uh, click the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next lesson.